Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining PAHO today to observe the Universal Health Day 2021. In October 2018, at the historic Global Conference on Primary Health Care held in Astana, Kazakhstan, the world reaffirmed the commitment to the values and principles of primary health care in the spirit of the Declaration of Alma Ata. We reaffirmed that health is not a privilege nor a commodity. It is a fundamental human right. One year later, world leaders approved the UN political declaration on universal health coverage. And it was described by the UN Secretary General as, and let me quote, the most comprehensive agreement ever reached on global health a vision for universal health coverage by 2030, and an important landmark on our journey for health for all. At the center of these new important milestones in public health is the recognition of primary health care as an approach and a strategy for health and well-being, for human and social development, which is centered on the individuals, their families, and the communities. It is not merely the first level of care, nor is it the provision of a limited package of services for the poor. Primary health care calls for universal access to quality, comprehensive health services, not only curative, but also for promotion, prevention, rehabilitation, palliation, and treatment of common conditions. It calls for addressing the social determinants of health. Primary health care must form a central part of the strategy for transforming health systems to achieve universal access to health and universal health coverage. It must guide investments in health. Leaving no one's health behind, investing in health systems for all is the theme for the Universal Health Day 2021. And it is only achievable through a primary health care approach. We have been saying this for over 40 years now, since the adoption of the Almata Declaration in 1978. Honestly, much of what we have seen over the decades in health sector reform has been just the tweaking here and there of elements of the health system. I dare say that we have not seen the scale of transformations that we require to ensure that we can provide care for all people, nor at the scale in capacity to improve preparedness and response during public health emergencies as well. The COVID-19 pandemic fundamentally exposed pre-pandemic weaknesses of our health systems, as well as limitations of existing global regulations in health. There is resounding recognition of the urgent need to advance in the substantive transformation of health systems and their governance, now more than ever, to recover and recuperate lost public health gains and to be better prepared for future public health emergencies and pandemics. Resilience is an attribute of a well-performing health system in times of emergencies and beyond, and must be central to the transformation of our health systems in the future. Experience during the pandemic has made it clear that investing to build resilience in health systems is imperative to protect and promote health, as well as to sustain social and economic development. PAHO will support actions of member states to accelerate the recuperation and protection of the lost public health gains and to advance transformation towards more resilient, sustainable, and inclusive health systems during what may be a complex and protracted social and economic crisis in the Americas. Many countries have historically prioritized investments in tertiary hospital-based care, 
which has been important in tackling the COVID-19 pandemic. In some countries, hospital bed capacity has doubled in a period of less than two years. This investment is well merited and has saved countries and countless lives through all the Americas. Notwithstanding, hospitals alone, without a strong first level of care, do not address the integral and holistic needs in health of the population. In the most recent PAHO survey, 46% of countries in the region continue to report significant disruptions in health service delivery, impacting mother and child care, the control and management of communicable diseases, routine immunization, and non-communicable diseases control and prevention. Although the data is still limited, excess mortality and morbidity is rising. So as we look to the future, we must be better prepared. We must address pre-pandemic systemic deficiencies as a matter of priority, including the underinvestment in health and health systems throughout the region. And we must sustain the political will and investments that are so necessary to build resilient, equitable, and inclusive health systems based on primary health care. Primary health care provides us with the platform to deliver quality, comprehensive care to all, consistent with the principles of universal health. And it strengthens the essential public health functions, ensuring effective articulation between the needs of the individual with those of the community and the population as a whole. Transforming health systems based on primary health care augments our capacity to identify and respond to epidemics, crises, and emergencies, addressing health needs in such times and beyond. To this end, we need adequate financing to sustain and expand access and coverage, to organize and reorganize health services networks, ensuring the expansion within cities and rural areas alike, ensuring continuity and quality of care for all. We need a well-distributed, qualified, and motivated healthcare workforce, not solely concentrated on hospital specialists, but one that takes into consideration the comprehensive competency needs at the primary care level, including community healthcare workers. Primary healthcare needs to go beyond just the words. We have to increase the capacity of services at the first level of care to address the health conditions of people within the community. And such services must be available within the community where people live. We need information systems that generate data for decision-making, disaggregated and supporting decision-making. The transformation of our health systems can be driven by digital transformation in health, bringing to bear the power of technology to improve the health of all. We need access to health technologies, medicines, diagnostics, vaccines, and medical equipment. Increasing the capacity of the region of the Americas in research and development, in production capacity of essential medical products, simplifying supply chains, and promoting greater integration in science, technology, industry, and health. And we must invest in our people in our health and in our health systems. This means increasing public expenditure in health to at least 6% of the GDP, allocating at least 30% of this expenditure to the first level of care under a transformation agenda that is based on the primary health care approach. The COVID-19 pandemic has cost the lives of more than 2.3 million people in the region and has impacted the lives and livelihoods of us all. As we continue to tackle COVID-19 and increase vaccination coverage 
throughout the region, we must sustain our interventions and intensify our actions, building the health systems of the future. This will allow us to be better prepared in the face of future pandemics. So on this occasion of Universal Health Day 2021, let me urge us all to act decisively and to act at scale. We need to be bold if we are to recover lost public health gains and retake the path towards the achievement of universal health in the Americas. And we must act now to build resilient health systems. The strategy for building resilient health systems unanimously approved by PAHO member states in September of 2021 provides a roadmap looking forward, incorporating lessons learned from the pandemic. It calls for the transformation of health systems based on primary health care, the strengthening and expansion of integrated health care delivery based on a strong first level of care, and the integration of the essential public health functions to build the necessary capacities to address health needs. It also importantly calls for renewed focus on the stewardship and governance of our health systems and investments in health health systems and social protection in health. I want to reassure you that PAHO remains committed to supporting our member states in their efforts to transform health systems to this end. Such transformation is not only possible, but it is the right thing to do and the smart thing to do. It is only possible with a clear vision at the country level, political commitment at the highest level, strong leadership at the national health authorities, and importantly, community engagement. Let us be bold and innovative as we look to the future. Let us make this unprecedented public health crisis an opportunity for transformation. Let us invest in health systems for all, leaving no one's health behind. Thank you so much.